everyone sorry this video is a little bit late um usually i have my color in heaven reviews up pretty soon after the edition is released but as you'll probably know if you've been following my updates on social media i've not been very well lately at all i've had a pretty horrendous week with a very severe ear infection um that turned into mastoiditis and ambulances were called at one stage so it really was um not nice at all but I'm hoping and praying that I'm getting better now. Um, it seems every day I'm getting a little bit better. It's just taking its time to go. But thank you for all your well wishes. And I'm happy to be back doing some videos for you. So we've got the Colour in Heaven Zodiac Special. It features 40 astrological designs from Mayumi Ogihara, Tanya Bond, Kelly O'Gorman and Mitzi Sato Wioff which uh, I've never heard of Mitzi before, I've never heard of Mayumi before, but I have heard of Tanya and Kelly. So as you can probably guess, it's all about the zodiac, it's all of the star signs, and we've got four different illustrators, so four very distinct styles. So first off, we start with Mayumi, who is apparently a self-taught freelance artist based in British Columbia, Canada. She was born in Japan in 1965 to an artistic family with wonderful imagination and skills in many different fields. Then we've got the lovely Kelly O'Gorman, of course. She is an artist from Hertfordshire who graduated with an MA in Digital Practices in Design. Now, as the creator of the A to Z colouring series of books, she designs intricate and detailed works inspired by the natural world and also the make-believe. Then we have Tanya Bond, who you'll know from her Inklings books. She's a self-taught artist who works in various mediums, oil pastel, acrylics and oils. You'll find her artwork typically features fairies, mermaids, birds, pets and wild animals. And finally, we have Mitzi. Her last name is actually pronounced Satoview. So I totally got that pronunciation wrong, didn't I? It's Japanese and Danish. What an interesting combination. Uh, she's a Colorado-based artist who is originally from Japan. Her artwork shows a clear and distinct influence of vintage sho shoujo, shoho, manga and woodblock prints of her native country. So that's a bit about all of our illustrators this month. So we start off with Mayumi. And as you can see, it's a very clear uh, portrait style that she does. Very crisp line art. Um, no shading, I don't think. So that is probably for more experienced colorists maybe if you're wanting to get a really realistic skin tone if you're not that's totally fine but if you are and you're a bit more uh down the road of your coloring journey especially with portraits these ones with no shading will um will be more for those intermediate colorists who who know where to put the lights and shadows and things that's how i see it anyway i prefer a bit of shading on mine because i'm not quite as confident as some people with portraits so I do prefer to have a bit of a guideline. So here we have Gemini, it's my star sign. Of course, it's the twins. And these illustrations are undeniably beautiful, aren't they? They're very, very simple, as I say, but really effective. Uh, very much reminds me of Kim White's work. So if you're a fan of hers, she also has a Zodiac book. Um, I believe you can get it from her Etsy store. So this is Leo the Lion. As you can see, the horoscope symbols are... Um, are they called horoscopes or is that just the the thing that you get to read about what's going to happen in your future i don't know the symbols anyway the zodiac symbols um are featured on these pages as you can see here we've got the virgo symbol and then we have libra the scales of justice scorpio sagittarius the archer and capricorn and I think, oh no, we've got Aquarius as well from Mayumi. And then Pisces. So I think we have all 12 signs from each illustrator. What's 4 times 12? 12, 24, 36, 48, isn't it? So maybe not. I'm really, really rubbish at maths, by the way. <laughs> so we've moved on to Kelly O'Gorman anyway. We've got Aries the Ram. And as you can see, this is a completely different style. It's not portraiture for a start. It's a very eclectic... Um, amalgamation of different things that you'll only find fully when you're actually colouring it because there's that much hidden detail uh it's fantastic i love kelly's work she's a lovely lady as well um and yeah i really really like her stuff so taurus the bull i think i've actually coloured this before when she did her zodiac calendar 
um, I remember doing this. So the roses on the top are my favourite thing. It's almost like the bull has a, a head crown on there, a floral crown. And as I say, there's just a lot of different elements hidden. We've got a lady down here. The eyes are flowers as well. Um, and a lot of it is paisley patterns and things like that. Gemini, I've definitely done this one. I remember doing it. I think I might have done all of them or did I? I can't remember. But yeah, I really love this one. I'll put it up on screen if I remember the one that I've coloured. We've got Cancer the Crab. And again, this is a fantastic um, depiction of what I mean by Kelly hiding a lot of things in her work. So if you have a quick look, you can see that we've got two birds here. They might be peacocks. Um, in the background, we've got what looks like the Eiffel Tower or some sort of tower structure. We've got a house up here, cupcakes. There's a bat with its wing extending right up to be one of the pincers of the crab and some birds as well. I think this is a big caterpillar. So yeah, they're really, really fun. Leo the lion, again, lots of different things incorporated into there. This is one of the more simpler illustrations in the way that there's nothing really hidden inside. So you've got the, the, uh, the maiden, um, with the wings and you've also got some flowers throughout the hair but there's nothing there's no weird or you know um, just random elements hidden inside it's just it is what it is that one same with the Libra again this is another one I've coloured I remember doing it a gorgeous I'm sure I made these into shells like I say if I remember to put the coloured pictures on for you I will do that so you can see what they look like with a bit of colour we've got Scorpio the Scorpion so this one if you look here, you can see that we've got two wings and what looks like a nose and teeth and a chin and then the two eyes. And this really, really reminds me of the Jeepers Creepers. I've actually got the um, in right here, this little Jeepers Creeper. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know why. It's just got that similar sort of face with the, the floppy cheeks. But, yeah, lovely. So, next one is Sagittarius the Archer. So, when we look back at Mayumi's work, I think Sagittarius was depicted by a lady they're all ladies aren't they so it must have been uh, there we go so that was Mayumi's Sagittarius and that's Kelly's so you can see just how different the styles are and how differently they've been interpreted then we've got Capricorn the sea goat again I'm sure I've coloured this I think I've coloured them all I'm, I'm repeating myself uh, Aquarius the water bearer lots of different things in here so you can see we've got a ship and the sails in the uh, the water carrier there then we've got Pisces, the two fish, look a little bit like koi carp. And we've got the Sakura blossoms here, so I'm guessing they are koi. Then we've moved straight on to Tanya Bond. So you can see that shift in styles straight away. So if you've got the Inklings books or you've heard of the Inklings books, you will be familiar with Tanya's style. As you can see, it's gorgeous portraiture with really big eyes, large features um, and sort of fantastical. So this is Aries, again it's the ram isn't it, so you can see that the, the two horns of the ram make up both her hair and the top of her costume here and then you've got the sheep in the background as well. And all of the, uh, the, the ram signs are kind of speckled everywhere really on this one. Then we've got Taurus, the bull, so I'm just looking for different um, bull elements here obviously you've got the bull horns on the headdress you've also got them as the the shoulder guards or the shoulder pads here and then I think these are poppies I'm not sure whether that is a flower of Taurus or a flower of that particular month um, maybe it is I don't know so again we've got Gemini quite similar to how Kelly O'Gorman did hers with the two ladies but this one is flipped upside down so I'm guessing this is a day and night um, very much chalk and cheese sort of um, illustration where you could do one in certain colour palette and one in another, maybe hot and cold, um, whatever. This is Cancer, as you can see, it's one that I've already done. Just making sure you're not blurred. Um, so yes, I really, really love this. I used Prismacolor pencils for the majority of it. I also used a white gel pen to create the foam and the highlights and things as you can see. And I used Neo Colours by Karan Dash to do this background. Now I was inspired by um, a, this page that had already been done by somebody on you, uh, not YouTube, Instagram, and I'll put them up here so you can see what my inspiration was. I took the inspiration from that photo 
for her skin tone and for the sky so you'll see that there's a similar kind of sky going on and that the contours of the face are similar now that's a bit of a tip from me actually if you are doing a portrait and um, you're kind of wondering about where to put highlights and shadows and cheekbones and things like that try and do a little bit of a search on Instagram and see if anybody else has already coloured that exact same image it not to say that you will copy exactly what they've done but it's kind of it helps you to figure out where to put where to put things basically that's what I do anyway if I if I can't figure it out myself so yeah really really pleased with how that's turned out it's super colourful made sure that I used a really warm blue and a really bright orange to have that contrast for the colour wheel um yeah I love it so this one is lovely as well it's Leo as you can see we've got the uh, the lion the lioness here and um, some flowers as well so I'm guessing that Tanya has incorporated flowers from that particular star sign or that particular month into her illustrations because there seems to be very very distinct flowers on each one of these here's Virgo again the maiden then we have Libra so you've got the scales of course it looks to be a lizard on her shoulder here or a gecko or a chameleon or something like that um, and what I really like about this is the hairstyle how the two braids are intertwined at the end and also the costume as well it's very medieval looking we've got Scorpio so we are uh, of course there it is there is the uh, the scorpion and again I really, really like the costume of this you can see she's wearing a corset dress with these beautiful floral sleeves um, again with the hair love the style love the way that she's looking over her shoulder and in the background you have the castle and the lightning storm so I think that one would be a fantastic coloured image here's Sagittarius so again a totally different take on this sign um, what do we have so we've got the uh, the bow and arrows and what else what else what else these look like oak leaves like chestnut tree chestnut oak tree chestnut leaves um, but again could be wrong so this is Capricorn and as you can see we've got the goat down here not sure what these flowers are this looks like ivy but I think I, I do actually recognize these are they pansies or something I'm not sure you will tell me in the comments because you're all more knowledgeable than I am on flowers so Aquarius the water bearer you can see we've got feathers down here we've got all the water flowing out of the the receptacle there at the bottom and again really nice braids and just big wide-eyed looks if you like Jasmine Beckett Griffith and things like that I think you'll like Tanya Bond Pisces so we're going with the fish water lilies um what else do we have I think that's pretty much it I love the pearls in her hair and this little bit of patination near the eye just showing maybe some scales uh, you can see that she's got fins growing from her back so she's obviously a mermaid type creature then we've moved in styles again we've gone on to Mitzi's work now and we've got three in one on this page we've got Aries Taurus and Gemini and as you can see it's really got that anime chibi Japanese influence going on so you can see we've got the really cute rounded features there's no mouths it's just really expressive eyes very simple but very sweet and cute and it will be really fast to color um, and get something down straight away so uh, Gemini the twins Taurus the bull I'm loving that headdress or the little hat that he's wearing um, and then Aries the ram then we've got Cancer the crab Leo the lion and Virgo again the maiden just really really cute like I say very very simple very quick to do but I can imagine bright colors or even pastel colors as well because a lot of times Japanese artists do use pastel colors and it's really effective and, and soft and delicate I can imagine those looking absolutely beautiful we've got Libra Scorpio and Sagittarius loving the Sagittarius in this book I don't know why I'm fixating on that sign but it's it's very different how it seems to be interpreted every single time then we've got Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. I love the Aquarius one. Really, really sweet. It's like she's wearing a Greek toga with the Greek um, circle of leaves. And there again with the Koi Carp. And that is it. So I really hope you've enjoyed looking at the Zodiac special. It is a, a really, really good edition of Colour in Heaven, especially if you are into colouring portraits and you've got an interest in the Zodiac and things like that. So do let me know in the comments if you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, also, make sure that you look in the description of where you can buy your copy of this book. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.